I'm a superstar in this sport. You line them up, name them. Uh, I'm ready for whoever. Who's boxing's most avoided fighter? Clearly me. What do fighters fear in fighting you? Losing. I think a lot of people uh, realize. You just losing. It's the fact that you fight somebody and you can't hit them. People don't like to be embarrassed. I remember your first fight in Europe. I think you went through three opponents before you found someone to fight with. And now you are a two belt champion. The same damn thing for this fight. Because it's a risk. It's a, they know they're dealing with, they don't see any wrinkles. They'd rather sit back and wait and see if they can find an open and find a wrinkle. When this negotiation cycle began, when we were talking about a fight with Devin Haney, what happened? Just like you seen with Lomachenko, Lomachenko had a bad fight with Jermaine Ortiz. He's ready to jump in the ring and, and make the fight happen. I think it wasn't the best performance, but uh, you know, I know that if me and Loma was a fight, you know, a better version would be on, on that night. Same thing with Regis. Regis is coming off a terrible performance, and now he's a full head on ready to fight Regis. So you weren't surprised when he took Regis? Devin kind of showed me where his heart was at when I went in that ring, and he ran out the ring. I think that let me know where he was at mentally. Hey, for now, bro. For now. Right then and there, I told everybody that fight ain't gonna happen. Vasily Lomachenko, you wanted him. That was the most disappointing one out of all of them. I got a lot of respect for Lomachenko. And uh, coming up, I, I, I watched him, um, studied him as a fighter. I never really seen him like say no to no fights. Then Frank Martin was a done deal. What happened with that? He said yes to the fight. And then when it came to fruition, now you see posters, you see uh, everybody hyped about the fight. I think that made him catch cold feet because he knew he was dealing with the truth. Have you had any contact with him? Yeah, I DM'd him. He didn't want to talk about me and him. I told him, I said, you scared. You, you just don't want to fight me. So why did Edwin De Los Santos take this fight? Because he believed he could win. I think that he truly, deep down, believed that. What's the best thing he does? He got quick reaction. Where's he most vulnerable? I think that for the first four, first five, uh, he's gonna be tough. Once you get take him in the deep waters, uh, we're gonna see where, how tough he is. What does he have that all these other guys don't? He got hurt. He called me out. He went to my city, made a whole video, tried to uh, mm -hmm. force the fight. Uh, he, he pulled the me on me. And honestly, I just answered the phone call.